Gang, Django here, Problem Punch here. Had a couple frying pans that my wife scored over at the Senior Center Thrift Store. Nice lady named Lynn. Um, they usually throw them away, but my wife uh, knew that I'd been wanting to try bending frying pans. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> she grabbed me some, and I tried one the other day. You know, an easier one, and trying to get the hang of it and everything. So I'm going to try this uh, little thicker one here. This looks to be eighth inch or so. T Fal Ultra Base. Got a deep dish there. And I'm really uh, really new to this, so not really sure what I'm doing. Wearing gloves to protect my hands, because you know I work with my hands. Try to thigh crush it in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna try this other one. This one is a little stout for me. Heck, this one feels pretty stout too. Yeah. But it's not as deep dish. Oh, now we're talking. I've been working with my phone book rippers helper trying to specifically work on something like this because being out here it's difficult to apply uh, force for me when it gets further and further out and that's why longer lengths of steel are more difficult for me too. <clears throat> Got him on the hands. Man bust up his hands, man can't work. Not sure where to go from here. Just like when you're closing a piece of steel, you get to that point where you can't quite link your fingers, but you can't grip either, both sides, so one open hand, that's my chicken. I'll be right back, I'll leave this here with you guys.
I gotta shut my chicken off. Sorry. Okay. Can't let the chicken burn, man. Meanwhile, my bald spots cooking like barbecue. I'm gonna turn you guys over here. Get that off my bald spot. I don't wanna be an old guy with one of them weepy scabby bald spots back there. Okay, I got one, man. And this one is definitely thicker than the one I did before. It's a decent thickness. Magnet doesn't stick to it, so it's probably aluminum. Doubtful it's stainless steel. Stainless steel probably would have snapped. So it's aluminum skillet, about an eighth inch thick. People ask me why my burritos are so good. Oh, Teflon. And it's still greasy. That's why I can't get a dang grip on the bugger. This is a pretty good workout. I also tried snapping steel for the first time the other day. Uh, piece of pretty tough quarter inch uh, by seven inch square bar cold rolled steel pretty decent stock <clears throat> uh, this one this one's a little bit beyond me right now I don't want to leg crush this anymore I want to get this with with just crush so I'm gonna save this bugger and we'll come back to it another time so real quick, I'm going to grab my phone book ripper's helper and just show you what I've been doing to try and prepare for this. Because that nice lady Lynn over at the Senior Center Thrift Store in Camp Verde told my wife that instead of throwing those in the garbage, she'd save them. And they're just going to give them to her. Monica gave her a couple bucks. Really nice lady Lynn. So you can ask your local thrift store because they probably do the same. All right, so it's probably fairly obvious what I've been doing. I've been mimicking those chest crush movements, all right? Uh, in addition to that, I've been uh, doing a rolling motion, okay, to work my, my forearms because eventually I'd like to be able to really roll that bugger up, you know, rather than just chest crush roll. And then I turn it to the side and I'm going against the bend and just throwing some holds in there. All right, and then trying to get stronger out uh, at bigger lengths, again, against the bend. And then I'll add a, that wrist curl movement, okay? Where we're gonna, we're gonna add that in because that extra force is, is really helpful. So pretty simple, all right? And of course, you've got your, your tearing motions that you do to practice for ripping phone books and license plates you know and you can uh, you can choke out to the edge to make it more difficult on yourself you know if you're practicing for for cards or whatever but that's basically what I've been working on with this and just trying to get better at that I tore my first license plate the other day and that was interesting you know I wasn't prepared for that just since uh, getting it started is the deal you know, because metal has some give. And so you're trying to get that license plate started and the bugger just kind of kind of moving with you a little bit. But once you get it started, it uh, that tears pretty easy. You know, you go across the numbers, you'll hit a little, uh, little rough spot. You know, you hit the raised numbers and letters. But that's it, gang. Just really wanted to try that, that frying pan bend. And uh, <clears throat> thank you to my friends. Uh, 
for, for all your support. And, uh, you know, all my friends who do the strongman feats, you, you guys inspire me. It's really, really cool seeing your pictures and everything. And hopefully I'll get a hold of some horseshoes soon. Just haven't had the bucks for them, you know. But give those a shot too. But over here just having fun and working. And bug season is coming soon, so I got to get into my Carl Spackler mode, you know. Fighting with the gophers and bugs and all the other critters that, that want to eat my stuff and climb up in my rafters and poop. But that's it, gang. I appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with me. Y'all live free, punch hard, and bend hard, all right? And rip hard, and fold hard, and roll hard. But be soft and gentle with yourself, all right? Because you're worth it, and I dig you. You deserve the best. Bye now.